Hi friends and new friends. On this episode of CATV, we're going to be taking a look at the Dash mobile wallets, both on iOS and Android. And I'm going to be doing a live transaction from the iOS wallet to the Android wallet, and from the Android wallet right back to the iOS wallet. This is going to show off Dash's chain locks transactions in action, because I'm not going to have to wait for any confirmations beforehand. I'm Christopher Carruthers, also known as Tao of Satoshi, and you're watching Cash Alternative TV. So what is Cash Alternative TV other than that catchy jingle? Well, it's a show about cryptocurrency with a focus on Dash, which aims to be a digital cash for the world, an alternative to cash. If that's something that interests you, you want to learn more about Dash, or just want to hang out with me some more, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss an episode. Now onto the topic of today's show. Well, most people know that the Dash network features fast, secure, private transactions. But how do we use these transactions? Well, for most people, they use a desktop wallet, and that's fine, but people that prefer more mobility might use the Dash wallets on iOS and Android. And that's the subject of today's video. I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of the features of each wallet, and I'm also going to be doing a live transaction between the two. Without further ado, let's get going. Welcome, everybody, to this uh, run-through of the Dash uh, mobile wallets. Uh, they recently came out with new versions, so I wanted to show it to you guys, and uh, right here on this uh, Cash Alternative TV video. So I've got the two uh, wallets here side by side. Uh, we're gonna start off with the iOS one. Uh, and this is the one that I use all the time. This is my phone. This is the phone that I use uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. And uh, it's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool application. So let's go through it. So it's uh, got a nice picture on the front, it says your money, your way. You gotta put your pin number in to get in. So this is what the wallet looks like on the, uh, on the inside. It's got a nice little, uh, it says the dash on the top. It's got a nice little uh, part up here, but it's a nice blue color. It shows you your available balance and you can tap to hide it if you want. So we're gonna hide the balance and then we're gonna tap to unhide it. So that's good if you're uh, sitting in front of uh, somebody on the bus and you don't want them to know how much money you have in your account. So we got a, uh, the send button over here. So the, it has a pop-up so you can send. And we're gonna we're gonna try that out later. We're gonna send some money to the Android wallet, and they're gonna send the money back to the iOS wallet later. And it's got a little tap to receive. So there's your QR code that comes up. It's got a nice little Dash logo in the middle. So that's cool. Uh, scan to pay. So if you want to uh, scan, it, if you're at a store and you want to scan a QR code to pay, there's an easy easy way to do that. Send to a Dash address. I don't have a clip. My clipboard doesn't have a valid address, but if it did. You could use it that way. Buy and sell Dash. I gotta put my PIN number in there. So it connects to your Uphold account, which is a really cool feature that both the Android and iOS uh, phones have and uh, applications have. You can uh, go on your Uphold account and you can buy Dash straight from your wallet. And I'm assuming it sends to your wallet, so that's good. So you got your transaction history there. All good. I use this wallet a lot, as you can see being a dasher myself so we're gonna yeah and then also down here it also shows you how to do payments you can send and receive from the bottom from the bottom button so that's cool yeah let's see what we have over here buy and sell dash so we have that and probably it connects to my uphold account again yeah so that's another feature there so you can uh, do that security so i can view my recovery phase i can change my pin number I can enable Touch ID, I can auto-hide my balance, advanced security options, let's see what we got there, advanced security options, so auto-logout, logout after a minute, uh, spending confirmations, so yeah, it's pretty good security also, and reset wallet if I wanted to, but I definitely don't want to do that right now, so that's the iOS wallet, looks pretty cool, I really like how the layout looks. Now we're going to look at the Android wallet. And, uh, see this I'm gonna preface this before I go in that this is a very old burner phone it's a Galaxy S5 so hopefully it's gonna cooperate with my uh, tutorial here <laughs> so we're gonna go into the dash wallet here we go and I uh, don't mind the fact that it takes a while to load because uh, this is uh, like I said it's an old Galaxy S5 but here you go so the wallets locked right now I have to unlock the wallet so how am I going to do that? I'm going to go up here, nope. paste some clipboard, nope, nothing there. How am I going to unlock the wallet? 
So tap the lock icon above. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to do that. Unlock. Okay, so there we go. So up here it says the same thing. It says I need to back up my wallet. So back up now or remind me later. You can remind me later, but that's uh, probably going to do the same seed phase, seed phrase, and it's going to ask you for a pin number two, which I already have. So let's see what we got up here. We got the QR code. We got the address book. It's going to show them all the addresses that I've used, which is not very many because, like I said, this is a very old phone. Got the exchange rates for Dash. Uh, Dash is having a good day today. It's $162 Canadian. Went up about 10 bucks overnight, so I'm pretty happy about that. You can uh, sweep a paper wallet. Start by scanning the private key of a paper wallet and use the camera action button, so that's cool. That's something I didn't see in the iOS one. It might have been there, but I didn't see it. Report an issue, so you can uh, talk to the developers and report an issue about it. Uh, we're going to go to network monitor, so it uh, tells you what uh, what peers you're connected to, so that's pretty good. Safety, so it's got uh, safety options here, it's just like the iOS wallet. Safety notes, backup wallet, restore wallet, view recovery phase, restore from recovery phase, and change spending pin, which are all very good options to have. We've got general settings, denomination and precision. You're going to keep your own name. That's that's something that's going to be coming up in a Dash Pay wallet where you can have your own name instead of uh, addresses. So that's good. Diagnostics. Report issue. This is for like developers. Uh, most uh, normal users aren't going to use this one. You're going to, you can reset the blockchain if you're having problems with your um, transactions. And about. This uh, just shows you the version number, version 6.6.4. I'm quite happy it still works on my old Android, so that's good. Lots of information there. Okay, so we're, we're going to request Dash down here. Request, it shows the QR code. Perfect for other people to uh, send you Dash. And you can send Dash to other people too by using the address or you can actually use the pin number, or uh, sorry, your QR code. And that's going to scan the QR code. So that's perfect. Uh, so that's the wallet. So now I'm going to send Dash from one wallet to the other wallet. I don't have any Dash on my Android wallet, so this is going to have to be the one to receive Dash. So let's do it. Your Android wallet is going to send some Dash. We're going to scan the QR code. And that QR code is coming up. Perfect. I'm going to send 0.1 Dash, which is about $16 Canadian. I'm going to send it to the Android wallet. I'm going to confirm. Touch ID. And I sent it successfully. See how long it takes to show up on the other wallet. My old burner phone wallet from Android. Yeah, it's already there. Perfect. So it says this payment can be spent without ever being confirmed. Right. So let's do that. I'm going to send Dash. Now we're going to send from the Android wallet back to the iOS wallet. So we're going to use the QR code and we're going to act, ask to receive on there. And there's, there's the QR code. My old, Andro I, my old Android wallet struggling to try to do this. So we're going to do an amount to pay is 0.99. No, sorry, 0 0.099. <laughs> I'm trying to get more than I can here. All right, so we're going to enter my PIN number and we're going to send back to the iOS wallet. And the iOS wallet has received the payment. I'm hoping it received the payment. I'm going to press the X. Yeah, received 0 0.099. So those are the two Android wallets. You could uh, keep going back and forth with them if you wanted to. But uh, it looks, looks pretty sharp. Props out to the developers. Thanks for watching this episode. Until next time, ciao. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed that walkthrough of the Dash iOS and Android wallets. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and click the bell if you want to see more from me in Cash Alternative TV episodes. Until next time, remember, Dash is a better money for a better future, and that future is getting closer every day. Bye for now.